Hi guys, Dr. Gedi is here. In today's class, we will solve the method on this description. First question: For air flows over a flat plate, velocity and boundary layer thickness can be expressed as this. If the free stream velocity is 2 meter per second and air has a kinematic viscosity of 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter square per second and density of 1.23 kilogram per meter cube, the wall shear stress at x is equal to 1 meter is. This type of situation is given at a distance x from the leading is. The velocity profile is this. And we have to find the wall shear stress at x is equal to 1 meter. From our previous class, we know that tau is equal to mu into d upon dy. So, wall shear stress will be tau naught is equal to mu d upon dy at y is equal to 0. Let this one is equation 1. And it is given that u upon u infinity is this. So from here we can get u is equal to this. On putting this solution into equation 1, we will get tau naught is equal to this at y is equal to 0. On solving this differentiation, we will get tau naught is equal to this at y is equal to 0. On putting y is equal to 0, we will get tau naught is equal to mu into 3 by 2 into u infinity upon del. And here this mu is nothing but the dynamic viscosity, which is equal to the kinematic viscosity into density. So on putting this value into our equation, we will get tau naught is equal to kinematic viscosity into density into 3 by 2 into u infinity upon del. On putting the values we will get tau naught is equal to this. In this equation we only have to find the value of this del. Let this one is equation 2. In the question it is given that del is equal to 4.64x upon under root rex where this rex is nothing but the Reynolds number at a distance x from the leading edge. Since mu upon rho is nothing but the kinematic viscosity so we can also write it as this. On putting the values we will get Reynolds number at a distance 1 meter from the leading edge is 1.33 into 10 to the power 5. Since we have the value of Reynolds number, now we can get boundary layer thickness at a distance 1 meter from the leading edge, which is 0 0.0127 meter. On putting this value into equation 2, we will get wall shear stress at a distance 1 meter from the leading edge is this which is approximately around 4.36 into 10 to the power minus 3 newton per meter square so option c is correct now come to another question in a simple concentric shock bearing arrangement the lubricant flows in the 2 mm gap between the shaft and the bearing. The flow may be assumed to be a plane caught a flow with zero pressure gradient. The diameter of the shaft is 100 mm and its tangential speed is 10 m per second. The dynamic viscosity of the lubricant is 0.1 kg per meter second. The frictional resisting force in Newton per 100 mm length of the bearing is This one is the sectional view of the shaft bearing arrangement and these things are given and we are taking linear velocity profile over here because 
for plain cordy flow with zero pressure gradient the velocity profile is linear and we have to find the frictional resisting force per 100 mm length of the bearing let this frictional resisting force is f so this f must be equal to tau into a where this tau is viscous shear resistance and this a is curved surface area of the shaft of 100 mm length on putting the values we will get it is 0.015 pi so frictional resisting force f is tau into 0.01 into pi let this one is equation 1 we know that tau is equal to mu into d upon dy one should note that for linear velocity profile d upon dy is del v upon del y which is equal to this so after putting this into our equation we will get tau is equal to mu into v upon h where this h is gap between the two surfaces on putting the given values we will get wall shear resistance is 500 newton per meter square on putting the value of this wall shear stress into equation 1 we will get the frictional resisting force per 100 mm length of the bearing is 15.7 Newton. Let's solve another question. Consider fluid flow between two infinite horizontal plates which are parallel and the gap between them is 50 mm. The top plate is sliding parallel to the stationary plate at a speed of 3 meter per second. The flow between the plates is solely due to the motion of the top plate. The force per unit area required to maintain the bottom plate is stationary is. This type of situation is given. Top plate is moving parallel to the bottom plate at a velocity of 3 meter per second and these values are given. For sake of simplicity we are taking a linear velocity profile between these two plates. Why? Because nothing is given. Because of the viscous effect of the flow this bottom plate will also try to move along with the top plate and in order to maintain this bottom plate is stationary we have to apply a force F in this way where the magnitude of this force F must be equal to the viscous frictional drag on plate 1 because of the moment of the plate 2. So this F is equal to tau into area. For unit area of the plate, this force F is only tau Newton per meter square. And we know that this tau is equal to mu into du upon dy. So F is equal to mu into du upon dy. And for linear velocity profile, this d upon dy is del u upon del y, which is also equal to this. So on putting this into the equation, we will get the force per net area required to maintain the bottom plate stationary is 26.4 Newton per meter square. Let's solve one more question. A cubic block of side L and mass capital M is dragged over an oil film across the table by string connected to a hanging block of mass small m as shown in the figure. The Newtonian oil film of thickness small h has dynamic viscosity mu. 
and flow condition is laminar. The acceleration due to gravity is a small g. The steady state velocity of the block is we have to find. This type of situation is given. This is the cubic block of side L and mass capital M and it is being dragged with velocity V. Let this is the x and y coordinate frame and we are taking a linear velocity profile over here. Why? Because for Newtonian fluid velocity profile is linear. At a steady state velocity will not be any function of time that is acceleration of the cubic block in x direction will be zero so for a steady state summation of force in x direction must be zero let's take the free body diagram of the cubic block weight will act in this way and the normal reaction will act in this way. Force by which it is being dragged will act in this way. And the viscous shear resistance force will act in this way. From observing the free body diagram of the cubic block, we can write summation of force in x direction as this, which must be equal to zero for steady state. And we know that this tau is equal to mu into du upon dy. For linear velocity profile, du upon dy is del u upon del y, which is also equal to this. By putting this value into the above equation, we can get the steady state velocity of the block is this. So option C is correct. That's it for this class guys, if you found my these video useful, chances are my these videos are useful too. So check out these videos, to subscribe my channel, just click on this and do not forget to click the bell icon. Thank you for watching this video, I really appreciate it.